Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Guys, welcome to today's Love Handles workout. When you're done sweating, just chill out with me for a bit. I have a gift for you. We're jumping straight into a warm up of side reaches today. You already know the deal. If you don't have a proper warm up done, pause the video, get that in really fast. I have ideas for you in the description box. Otherwise, just reach from side to side. Make sure you're stretching each arm as far as you can go. Take it easy. It's just a warm up. Good, beautiful, you're on track, that looks good. Our first move of the day is one of my personal favorites. We're gonna get your heart rate pumping right from the beginning of the workout. Don't worry, I am here with you. I'm on your team, we're doing this together. Are you ready? Let's go. When you're doing your double tray taps, hop your feet in unison from side to side make sure your stomach is sucked in really firmly your stomach should feel like it's about to be punched like i'm about to give you a nice punch in your gut i would never do that to you by the way but that's how hard your your abs should feel keep that soft bend in your knee raise your arms just a bit perfect you're doing it almost there three two one boom you did it you did it let's go if you're able you can start doing the exercise right from the preview. But if you need that little bit of a break, take it. Okay, let's go. Side reaches. Reach up to the ceiling. Stretch out those arms. Full range of motion. Bring your arms all the way down to your waist and then all the way up to the ceiling. I love what you're doing. I love that you're keeping your stomach nice and tight. That's very important. One foot at a time. Your toes should just tap the floor you're taking that heel off of the floor and just tapping the floor with your toes look at that so many things moving all at once i like it you're almost there two one time next up we're going to do a little bit of hopping if you're unable to jump do the modified version you see on the right in both instances you want to keep a slight bend in your knee are you ready okay take a deep breath let's go if you're jumping, go as far to each side as you can. And when you land, make sure you're landing with a very soft bend in your knee. You don't want to lock your knees when you're landing. If you're stepping, step as quickly as you can. That looks good. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing amazing. Keep going. There's a short break. There's a short break coming. So if you're working through the previews and you can do that, keep going. Almost there. Hop and time beautiful okay we're going to do some more of these side to side movements these are so very effective because not only are they helping you to burn the fat you need to lose especially to target your love handles i'll talk more about that in just a minute hang with me here but let's just get through the workout let's go punch 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 just a very gentle hop you don't have to hop all the way to the ceiling just as long as your toes clear the floor just a little bit it counts Make sure your arms are parallel to the floor as you punch to each side. Beautiful. Turn your whole torso to each side as you punch. Good. Oh, I love that energy. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing good. Suck your abs in. Keep that core nice and tight. And time. I told you there was a break coming. Take this time to catch your breath. If you do not need this break, skip ahead. If you need the break, drink some water. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing amazing. I'm enjoying working out with you. I'll be back in just a few seconds so we can finish up this workout. If you are enjoying this workout so far, make sure you check out my website, kabokofitness.com. There I have longer workouts, better workouts, amazing programs, everything you need to be the best you. Let's jump back into the workout. We're going to continue our theme of stepping from side to side. This time, I want you to cross your arms in front of you as you step to each side. Go at your own pace. Your pace is always the best pace for your particular body. Okay, you got me? Let's go, 30 seconds. Keep those arms raised. When you bring your arms to the back, think about your shoulder blades in the back. Try to clap your shoulder blades together in the back. That's how far back I want your elbows to go. All the way, all the way back, all the way forward. Beautiful, yes, exactly, just like that. Now keep stepping. One foot should go behind the other, just very slightly. Three, two, one. Don't think about it too much. Let's do this last movement. There's a bit of hopping involved. If you're unable to do the hopping, do the modification you see on the right do your best this is one of the best exercises in this whole workout it's my favorite in this workout let's go 
hands on the waist, make a big circle with your hips. There you go, and bring your feet together. It's easy, right? I know! One maka, two maka, three maka, arena. Do you know that song? Comment below if you know that song. Comment below if you know the hey macarena. Ah! <laughs> You're doing amazing. Keep going. Make that big circle. Jump your feet together. Big circle. The biggest circle you can make. Keep that core sucked in. Three, two, one. Yes! You did it! Thank you so much for working out with me today. Check out my website for longer workouts, more fun workouts. Now it is time for magic moments. The part of the workout where I give you all the tea so that when you walk past the mirror, you're not going to be able to stop yourself from looking and being like, Damn, girl! Today's magic moment hinges entirely on just one simple idea. I will share that idea with you in just a moment because if you get it, it will literally change your entire life and how you work out. And if you already know this idea, you're going to feel so much relief to know that you're not crazy. You're not crazy. You're on the right track. And before I share that idea with you, I need to show you these two photos. On one side, you have Jen. And on the other side, you have Whitney. Yes, I totally just made up those names, but let's just go with it. They are both married. They both have kids. They're both smart. They're both beautiful. They're both awesome. But you can clearly see that one person has more love handles than the other person. Love handles are also called muffin tops, by the way, just so we're all using the same terms. So... Looking at these photos, it becomes easier to understand this idea that I want to share with you. Are you ready for it? Here we go. The way you exercise is determined by the way you look, not by the way you want to look. I know, revolutionary. Let me explain what I mean. You're probably wondering, what are you saying, cola, potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes, same thing. No, it's not. It's not. This is why so many people are just lost. Lost in the sea of Instagram fitness accounts. Let me explain this to you. A lot of people think that if you want to look like this person, then you should train like this person. No, not so. This is not how life works. You have to train based on where you are right now how you look right now and then your body will change and adapt and then your training will have to change and adapt to match your new body and so on and so forth until you have the body you actually want and you feel the way you want to feel if you look like Jen but you are training like Whitney you will not get results if you look like Whitney and you are training like Jen you will not get results you have different bodies you're at different stages in your fitness journey and the way you exercise must reflect the way you look. <sighs> Did your mind just explode? Comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Just write up that. I feel like I should just stop right here, but we're not because there is so much you need to know. And I have five tips I need to share with you in this video. But before I go into any of the tips, before I spill any more tea, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's totally free for you and it means so much to me. Also, I need to mention who this video is for. I've just established that Whitney and Jen should not be training the same weight. They should be training completely differently. So, drum roll please, this video is for Jen. If you look like Whitney, there are still some tidbits you can take from this video, but not everything I am saying in this video is going to be applicable to you. This video was made totally just for Jen. Sorry, Whitney. Okay, so now that we have that cleared up, hey Jen, what's up? How are you doing? How's your workout? Do you have fun? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk. How do you lose your love handles? I'm going to give you a foolproof list of tips that you can follow. If you do what I say, you literally cannot go wrong because this advice is literally just for you. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you five tips. Five, just five. There are so many things I can share with you, but I'm going to share with you just five so it's manageable, you're not overwhelmed, you have something you can work with and something you can do today to start to change your life. I'm going to share those things with you, but before I get into it, there's something else you need to know. And that is, if you want to see fast results, no BS, no going back and forth, no losing, then gaining, then losing, then gaining, none of that. If you want that for yourself, you have to have the discipline to have one goal at a time. Don't go out here trying to lose love handles and tone your booty and 
tone your arms and no 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 please don't do that one goal at a time it doesn't mean that your arms aren't going to get toned as you're losing your love handles it doesn't mean your booty is not going to be popping as you're getting rid of your love handles it just means that your focus is on just one thing at a time this is how you get results i know you're not convinced but i applaud you for at least listening let's jump into the tip number one number one thing you have to do jen is to audit your house do you have cookies throw them out cake toss it ice cream trash fries no does that sound hard yeah 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 it does because it is hard but you want the truth right this is it no filler no filter no euphemism just the facts and the truth this is what you have to do i'm not saying you should never eat any of that stuff ever again that's not realistic that's not practical probably not sustainable what i am saying is do not keep that stuff in your house why you're probably wondering but why why if i can eat it why can't i just keep it in my house you know why but let's talk about it because 9 p.m is the hour of the day where we all get a visit from the devil on our shoulder that's the time where you're like i'm so stressed after work i just need to feel better i'm so overwhelmed i don't want to do anything i'm just gonna have a little bit of this oh you know what would feel so good right now just some melted chocolate it's at 9 p.m that's when this stuff happens if you don't have this in your house if you don't have the cookies in your house you don't have the cake in your house you don't have any of that stuff in your house mind you you make this decision not to keep the stuff in your house when you are feeling good when you're feeling motivated, you make this decision on a Sunday, on a Saturday, when there is no temptations, you make this decision in the morning, you know, you make this decision when you're feeling good, okay? Don't decide this at night, decide this in the morning, on Sunday morning, that you're not going to buy any of these processed things that make your your body store fat in that belly area. You make that decision when you are at your peak to being committed to being Fit and healthy so that when 9 p.m. rolls around it just isn't in your house now here's the thing I know if you're watching this video you have a car there's gas in the car you can grab your car keys and just go to McDonald's or Walmart the market wherever to buy what you want that's okay but guess what it's gonna take you five minutes to get into your slippers put on your clothes grab your car keys to drive over to the fast food place or to the grocery store or wherever you buy your stuff from that five minutes gives you time to think do i really want to do this is this really in my best interest and if you decide yes then get in your car it'll take you another five to ten minutes to get to the spot to meet your dealer to give you these drugs oh i'm sorry um, cake cookies you know that stuff that's another five to ten minutes you have to really think and have my voice echo in your head you will hear my voice in your head telling you jen what are you doing i'm so sorry that was so loud so if you go through all of that and you are still like yes i need the burger okay get it you know yolo you live once enjoy your life you know i'm a big fan of balance the, you not all the time kale and broccoli you know sometimes ramen sometimes cookies so that's the step one just getting that all of it by the way 100 percent. and i can hear you right now telling me but 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 i don't live alone my spouse likes this stuff my children like this stuff how can i deprive them of that just because i want to be healthy you don't deprive them of that you save them from that so they don't have to struggle the way you have struggled you feel me that was hard to say hard to say but i love you too much to allow yourself give yourself a pass based on that your family loves you they will support your decision and you can tell them it's just for a short time you know it's just three weeks guys just three weeks without cookies we can do it i'm sure your family can understand for three weeks all right tip number two is you have to pick a way to track your progress there are about 16 to 20 different ways you could track your progress I'm not going to go over all 16 to 20 of them because we're going to be here for five hours if I did that. So in this video, I'm just going to touch on the three most popular and effective ones. These three work for 80% of people. The remaining 20% of you, you're out of luck and I'm just so sorry for that. Okay, let's talk. You can't skip this, by the way. 
you cannot skip this tip. This is a mandate. All the tips I'm giving you in this video are mandatory tips. If you skip them, if you do anything without doing these five things, you're not going to get results. You must. You just have to. Now that I've freaked you out, let me tell you what they are. Number one is the one that is the least preferred method. Most people don't like this method, but it works and it's effective for a good number of people. And for that reason, I'm going to mention it. And that is checking your numbers. It's not for everyone. I'm so sorry if this triggered you. If you have an eating disorder, a history of eating disorders, anything like that, just block your ears and listen to this part. But for some of you, numbers is the only thing that works for you. Seeing your weight, seeing your body fat percentage, seeing your calorie count in your calorie counting app of your choice, seeing your split of how many carbs you ate, how many grams of fat you ate, how many grams of protein you ate per meal, per day. This is what works for you. If this works for you, follow that. Don't allow yourself to stop doing what works for you because it's popular and trendy to say, don't check numbers. So that's number one. Number two, this one is one that is, it works for most people, but not everybody, but it works. So let's talk about it. And that would be taking photos of yourself. This is exactly what it sounds like standing in your skimpy underwear and taking unflattering photos of yourself in your bathroom mirror or asking somebody to do it for you. And you just compare your photos to see your progress or lack thereof. And the last method is one that works for the most number of people, but it's also not for everybody. And that is going by how you feel. Going by how you feel at an identity level. When you look at yourself in the mirror, do you see who you think yourself to be? That sounds so vague, but I'm shocked by how well this works for some people. So look at yourself in the mirror. Do I look the way I believe I should look? Do I look like the person I know myself to be? The answer is yes, or I am looking more and more like that person. Then yeah, you're good. If you feel good, that's good. But if you don't feel good, then something needs to change. And that's your method. So three ways. Let me quickly recap. Numbers, photos, and feelings. Those are the three ways. Pick your poison. I'm not going to tell you which one I personally prefer. Maybe I will. Maybe I should. I'll save that for the end of the video. I'll tell you at the end of the video. I'm a bit shy to say which one I like because I don't want you to think that the one I like is the one you need to use because that's not true. You just have to do what works for your specific makeup and preferences. So pick one. You cannot. You cannot get results if you don't pick one. If you're thinking, oh, nah, this is just too much. This is hard. I just want to be happy. And as long as I am happy, then it's all good. I don't have to do all this. I don't have to be tracking my progress, checking with my feelings. Feelings? <laughs> if you're thinking that, I am giving you side eye for real. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Happiness is a state of mind. You can do these hard things I'm talking about and be happy at the same time. You can eat kale chips and be happy at the same time. Actually, no, that's a lie. That's not possible. It's not possible. Mm -mm. Kale chips and happiness, they're just antonyms. But you understand what I mean, right? I'm a happy person and I want you to be happy. Your happiness is very important to me. However, I don't want you to use that as an excuse to not do the hard work that I can help you do. I can help you. I want to help you. That's why I put these videos out there. So let's go into the third tip, which is probably the most direct way I can help you. And that is find a workout program that works for you. Stitching together workout videos on YouTube is all good. It's a great place to start. I highly recommend it. I encourage it. It's why I continue to put out workouts on YouTube. I want you to start somewhere. But once you're ready to really start to see results, you need a program that has a logical flow and structure to it. So of course, I recommend my 21 day belly fat focus program. We call it 21 day BFF. Hundreds of people have gone through this program. It is effective, it works. Get it on my website and then download my app so you can access it on the go. You can get offline access to this so you don't even need internet or anything. You can just do your workouts. 
It's easy, it's fast, it works, it's a great place to start. And I'm not just saying that because it's my program. I'm saying it because it works and you need something that works and will get you results. So find a program that works for you and do it. Do the program. Now, let me just let me just address something else that I hear a lot. I've heard a lot of people say, you don't have to exercise. You could just get results from eating less and diet and cleaning up your diet. That is true and also not true at the same time. Anybody that tells you that is talking about short-term results. They're talking about quick wins, something that's going to get you a result right away, which is not bad if it gets you started, but you cannot skip working out as a part of an overall healthy lifestyle. You have to work out. Our bodies need to move. And with our modern lifestyle, we cannot move enough in our regular day. That's why exercise is so important. Have you ever tried to diet and not exercise? Do you remember how awful that felt? It just feels bad it doesn't feel good at all but when you exercise your hormones are in check you feel good you feel strong you get to your goal faster your body is better quality and you're able to retain your results for a much longer time than the person that just goes on a cabbage soup diet loses 20 pounds in two weeks and then they gain it back and then some and then just keep repeating so no shade to the cabbage soup diet i am not here to knock anybody's hustle But I am here to tell you the truth, and that is something that is essential. You've heard me, but I hope you heard me in your soul and you understand that this is for your best. Let's go on to tip number four, which is my favorite on this list, actually. It's my absolute favorite thing. I follow this like a religion whenever I need to lose a little bit of fat. I follow this like a religion anytime I need to give someone a recommendation because it is law. Tip number four is law. Say it with me. Law. Say it for the people in the back. Law. I'm sorry. That's so... (laughs) What is wrong with me? I almost burst into song too. Anyways, tip number four. Are you ready? If you are trying to lose your love handles and you look like Jen, do not combine carbs and fat in the same meal. Always combine your carbs with a protein or combine your fat with protein, but do not combine carbs and fat. Why? Carbs are a source of energy. Fats are a source of energy. When you combine carbs and fat, you get boom, double energy. And what do you need double energy for? To sit at a desk and type all day? To sit on the couch and watch TV? I don't think so. So now you have all this energy in your body from that combination of carbs and fat. Your body doesn't have anything to do with it because you're not chasing any lions. You're not running from any hyenas. You're not traversing the Marambusi Desert. I don't know if that's a real place. It just came to my mind. You're not doing all that stuff, right? I hope not. If you are, send me pics. (laughs) Tag me on Instagram. So what does your body do with that excess energy? It stores it in your love pooch, your love handle, your muffin tub. That's where it just, it just goes there. So when you separate your carbs and your fat and instead combine your carbs with protein or you combine your fat with protein, you're being extremely smart because you are giving your body the energy it needs to function and repair and you're giving it protein, which allows you to feel full for longer. You're not as hungry, allows you to build healthy muscle tissue allows your hormones and your DNA to function correctly. Listen, protein is an all-star in this game. So what are some examples of carbs and fat? Because I know for me, as a personal trainer, these things come to me very naturally, but I want to break it down so that you have no excuse. That's my goal. I want you to finish watching this video and be like, okay, I have no excuse. I got to do something, okay? So some carbs that we're all familiar with. We all love this, I think. I do. I love this stuff. Bread. All forms of bread, white bread, brown bread, everything in between, carbs. Those are carbs. Potatoes, yams, pasta, rice, all types of rice. White rice, brown rice, fried rice. It's not a type of rice, but I feel like it should have its own category. Like fried rice is just delicious. Plantains, bananas, apples, 
all fruit, almost all fruit, not all, but almost all of them contain pretty significant amounts of carbs. So those are those are examples, some basic examples. You get the gist, all the, all the delicious stuff. I'm not even gonna mention processed carbs like chips or cake because we already went through that with tip number one, right? Don't combine that with fat. What's fat? Things like avocado, things like peanut butter, almond butter, oil, butter, cheese, egg yolks, super duper fatty fish like salmon. Now I know your, your eyebrows are hitting the ceiling because you're like, wait, what? I can't eat avocado toast? No, I'm not really saying you can't eat avocado toast. I'm just saying if you're eating avocado toast, be careful because you're combining energy with energy, carbs with fat. That's a lot of energy. Be careful with it and make sure there's some protein in there. If all you eat for breakfast is avocado toast and you're trying to lose love handles and you look like Jen, what are you doing? It's not bad. There are worse things you could eat. That's not the most efficient type of breakfast you could be eating. Which brings me to a point that is going to drive you crazy, but I have to make it. We haven't even moved on to the next tip yet, but I have to make this point, even though I know it's really going to stress you out and annoy you. I don't expect perfection with this tip number four of not combining carbs and fat. It is impossible to completely 100% achieve this where you never combine carbs and fat. You will eat avocado toast, you will combine it. So don't take this point too literally. Aspire to it, but don't stress over it. If you are eating a little bit of carbs and fat together, it's fine. Just don't make it a habit and make sure that you're getting that protein in. You're making protein a priority. I think I've beaten this horse all the way down to the to the bottom of the ocean. So I'm going to stop here. If you have any questions about this particular point, just leave me a comment and I will clarify. My last tip for you, tip number five, is to enjoy your journey and love yourself. Losing your love handles is not going to make you more beautiful. It's not going to make you more special. You are already beautiful and you are already special. And I'm saying that so aggressively because I believe that from the bottom of my toes to the tip of my teeth. And I'm saying it with my chest. I believe that. The only thing it's going to do is make your haters jealous, and I'm here for that. I'm here to make it so your haters are jealous. Okay, I'm joking. But honestly, enjoy your life. Don't stress. Keep your stress level down. That's part of what causes love handles anyway, when you're stressed and your hormones are all over the place. So visit kabokofitness.com to start my 21-day belly fat focus BFF program today. It comes with lifetime access, VIP customer support, full-length videos with me as your trainer, so much love and best of all, it works.